Hi, I'm Dr. Sanda. I'm a periodontist, I'm a nutritionist, and I practice biological dentistry. I actually frequent quite a few medical conferences, and what I find out is a lot of our uh, physician colleagues don't know how to look in the mouth. They don't even understand how we search for infection and how we can help you. How can dentists and doctors work together so that we can give the best treatment to our patients? So number one, what I recommend is just do a quick exam of the mouth. Number one, just look for gums to see if they're bleeding. Um, we can have a short questionnaire and ask the patient, do you have bleeding gums? Uh, do you have pain in your mouth? Do you have pain in your TMJ? Um, uh, do you have missing teeth? Do you have root canals? So these are just a set of six questions that are easy to ask. If they answer yes to any of them, uh, the following question would be, when did you last visit your dentist? And how is biological dentistry different than regular dentistry? So what we focus on is really figuring out if there's sources of infection in the mouth. A lot of times root canals can harbor really bad infections behind them and patients have no pain. In my office, I actually have a CT scan or a three-dimensional scanning method to see all the infections that are going inside the jawbone, including to evaluate the TMJ joint. Uh, as a physician, if you're dealing with diabetes or somebody who's pregnant, somebody with inflamed joint, if the mouth is not healthy and if they have uh, focal infections which they're not feeling, you're not going to be able to achieve the results um, to heal them properly. So you're always going to see, for example, with diabetes that their uh, insulin level or their blood sugar level is not as well controlled if they have periodontal disease. And nowadays with the treatments, uh, periodontal disease has become so easily treatable uh, with minimal discomfort to the patients because we use lasers, we use ozone, which is non-surgical treatments uh, to help them achieve the, the healthy mouth so they can have a healthy body. Um, to learn more about biological dentistry, go to iaomt.org uh, to find a biological dentist in your area that could help you treat your patients better. For more information or if you have any questions, please um, tweet me at Dr. Sanda or go to my website below and send me a message. Until next time, have a healthy life.